Footage shows flag-waving protesters climbing on the Royal Artillery Memorial Inn at Hyde Park Corner, which was covered with poppy wreaths from Remembrance Weekend. But Met Police Commissioner Sir Mark Rowley said there wasn't anything illegal happening. It is, it is not illegal to climb onto a statue. I think that might be something that um, government may, may consider. Um, but that's for them to decide, not for me. Um, the officer recognised that whilst it wasn't illegal, it was sort of... Um, it, it was unfortunately inflammatory in certain ways. The officers at the scene asked them to get down, and they did. Joining me now, Peter Kirkham, former Detective Chief Inspector in the Met. Peter, good afternoon to you. Um, is that strictly true? It's not illegal? Uh, yeah, broadly speaking, uh, there's no offence of climbing on a, a war memorial per se. If damage was caused, that would be different. Um, if the chanting was the sort of thing that would be an offence at ground level, uh, that would be an offence equally. Uh, but just climbing on a war memorial and waving a flag, no, in and of itself, not an offence. If the EDL shinned up a mosque and started waving St George's flags, uh, that, I'm sure, would be deemed illegal uh, on the basis that it was racially inflammatory. Uh, is this not something similar to that, Peter? Would that not be the offence, that there was a sort of certain level of incitement in this? Um... It's similar, but a sort of different end of a scale. If you're talking about EDL on a mosque, you're talking about a very direct link between the behaviour uh, and the premises um, where there is friction or animosity between the two parties, uh, whereas here, um, there, there isn't that. So it's similar but different. Well, I mean, you say that, a lot of people would look at that and go, do you know what, the underpinning of these protests is that it's very, it's certainly anti-Israel for some of these people. Uh, it's anti-West, if you like, in that respect. So that there is an obvious divide. They, to, to get up to that memorial, you have to walk over, or because of the weekend that we've just had, you would have had to walk over poppy wreaths and the like. So that disrespect carries a, a different resonance at the moment. So perhaps it could be argued that this was a, an act of hatred and incitement. You could try arguing that, but for the police to intervene, you'd need to have something that was pretty clear cut. Um, I certainly wouldn't want to justify an arrest on that basis. Um, <clears throat> if the police had been there at the time people had started climbing up the memorial, uh, then I suspect they would have chased them away in the same way that they do when people start climbing up bush shelters, lampposts and traffic light poles mm. um, for, for a variety of reasons, not least uh, the safety of all concerned, including the person doing the climbing. Uh, but once uh, they've climbed up there, you're stuck with a situation of how do we get them down? Um, as the commissioner said, I understand they sort of shouted at them to get down and they did. Uh, no doubt gave them words of advice and told them to clear off, which would it would appear that they did. Um, there was a dispersal order in place in Westminster at the time, but all that does is um, give the police the power to require someone to leave the area and not come back for, for up to 48 hours, I think it is. Um, so had they breached the dispersal order, they, they might be nicked on that basis, but if they haven't, there's no legal grounds to, to nick them on? Because that, that looks to... That doesn't I, look like exactly. a sort of a ceasefire protest. That looks like something more, looking at these people. I'm, I'm not sure that that was a deliberate act to raise the stakes in any way. It's the sort of exuberance that demonstrators, for all sorts of causes, tend to, um, tend to display... Uh, on the occasion of a protest, as I say, we see them dancing on the tops of bus shelters. We see them shinning up lampposts and uh, traffic light columns uh, and such like all the time. So I think it's just a case of uh, it was a, a, a convenient um, high point from which to wave a flag and, and gain some attention. It may well have been that it crossed their mind that it was a, a war memorial and that was relevant, uh, but it may not have done. Certainly isn't clear cut. And that, that is yes, and I, I think many people will say, well, you know, when Western military policy is at the centre of all of this, clambering up a war memorial is relevant to this. But as you say, it will be a uh, a, a judgment call from whoever. We will uh, watch with interest.